Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for O3, ozone. So there are two ways to look at this. First, let's look at the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. Basically, that says that we'll have the valence electrons kind of push away from each other since they're negative. So these valence shell electrons up here are going to push away from the valence shell electrons on these two oxygens here. When they do that, that forces those two oxygens to move down some, and that gives us this bent shape. So we can see that it's going to be a bent shape. To be a little bit more exact, though, let's go ahead and use the AXN notation to figure out the molecular geometry and bond angles. So A will be the central atom, this oxygen right here. X, that's the number of things bonded to that. We have 1, 2, so AX2. And N, that's the number of pairs we have of non-bonding valence electrons. We have one pair. So we have A, X2, N1. You could have memorized what molecular geometry corresponds to AX2, N1, or you could look it on a table if you're allowed to do that. So here's our table. As we go down, we have AX2, AX3, 4, 5, and here's an AX2, N. So that's what we're looking at, right? And that says it's bent with 120 degrees as the bond angle. So this bond angle right here, we said is 120. A more exact bond angle might be 116. That's a little bit more exact for the O3 Lewis structure. So to recap, we looked at valence shell electron pair repulsion theory to figure out the general shape. And then we checked that with the table and found out the bond angle and molecular geometry that way. So this is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for O3, ozone, and thanks for watching.